In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Welcome to the 30th week of House on the Rock. How amazing thus far that we've been able to go through more than half of the year building our own spiritual lives and the lives of our family through the different challenges that we have been participating as a church family. But this is the season where we just finished the fast of the apostles. This is the season in which we're kind of in this ambiguous stage. We're going on vacations, we're traveling, we're enjoying the summer. And it's easy when we are on vacation to take a little bit of a vacation from God. But we never want to let that be the standard for how we take vacations. We want our families always when we are taking rest to also find our rest in the Lord. We want it to be an opportunity for us to encourage one another to spend more time with our kids and to encourage them not to just have fun, but to also come into the presence of God with their families. So actually, when you look even at the people of Israel, when the Lord was trying to instruct them on how to keep the Lord on their minds and on their hearts always, He gave them their command in Deuteronomy 11. Therefore, you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul and bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Look at how the Lord wanted to teach the nation of Israel the importance of keeping the presence of God and the word of the Lord on their foreheads, on their hands, on the doorposts of their homes. Actually, even now till this day, they have these little scrolls that they put on the entrance of the doors of their homes. They're called the mezuzah. And that little scroll that's put by the sign of the door, as they enter and as they leave, they sort of take the blessing of this scroll to remind them to keep the law of the Lord on their hearts and their minds. And even if you were to travel to Israel, you'd see sort of this uh, command being manifest by the wailing wall in Jerusalem. I would encourage you, every single one of you this week in the challenge, if you are traveling or if you're home, your kids are on vacation from school, Take your children, sit with them, encourage them, support them, tell them that when they're on break, they're never on break from the Lord. This is an opportunity to fully come into deeper communion with the Lord during this time where we have rest in the summer. Take this challenge. Let the Lord fill your heart with His presence. Put His word always on your mind. Inscribe it on your heart and let it always guide every single thing that you do, whether you're home in your homes or whether you're on vacation on the beach, bring a spiritual book, spend some time with your kids praying, read the Bible with them, do something that will challenge you to keep the presence of the Lord this week and every week where you find really your true rest, not in your location, but in the very presence of the Lord. May God bless you and have a wonderful week ahead.